Hey there everybody, my name is Tony. Welcome back to Motorstorm Pacific Rift. Today, we are having the Speed and Eliminator events, starting off with a Speed on Razorback, Go With The Flow, Earth Zone, with a Semi, sorry, a Big Rig. Hmm. I'm interested, honestly. I'm gonna use this Molotov Baikal, which I believe is a lake, right? A huge, like the world's deepest lake, Lake Baikal. Let me know if I'm wrong there. Okay, we have 40 checkpoints, 15 second finishing margin. Okay. See if I can pull this off here. I've forgotten entirely how to race semis on this track. Sorry, big rigs on this track. But all I remember is that I just wasted the boost in a very poor manner. You know, I completely forgot there were boats on that side of the track. It's been so long since I've been over here. Okay. Oh, for the fun part. By fun, I mean you can barely make the turns. Oh, you're gonna, you're not really gonna make the turns, sorry. Okay, yeah, we're good. Uh oh, uh oh. Well, that ain't gonna work. I might end up having to redo this here. I'm gonna keep going for it, but I, I don't. I feel like this is a pretty precise run. I've already made too many mistakes. The problem with big rigs is there's no recovery opportunity. You have to do it perfect. Okay. Whew. Okay. Made it. It's a nice strat. Learned that a while back. You can slip between those two uh, stalagmites. Why am I going over here? Yeah, I missed it. We're just got to restart this. Which that sucks, but now I know not to make the dumb mistakes that I did a minute ago. Okay. Knowing where the checkpoints are is a massive help in these runs. You know, see how much faster this already is? This is a much better run straight off. Especially now that I know there's going to be a weird S-Bend in here. With like one of the most immaneuverable vehicles in the entire game. Okay. Good news is this lines us up pretty well for this jump. Got a nice slap landing. Chill out the boost here, thank you. Did I do the same thing as before? No, okay, I made it this time. The reason I hug so far left right there is with big rigs, momentum is key. And if I can land smoothly off that edge right there, it's faster. It's really hard, and I don't know that it's actually worth it. Okay. These are hard turns, man. It's working for me, but... Nailed that. Okay, I actually burnt that speed there intentionally. I knew I'd get it back with the boost right here. Okay, the next one's gonna be way over there, I see it. Okay. Oh, I do not want to get close to that edge. Oof! 
Plug it up for dear life. Oh, that's far. It's very far. I should have plenty of time to make it here. Unless this last one's like really far away. Whew. That's, that's pretty hard. I'm not going to lie. Hey. In the air zone this today. We have Badlands Wasted. An Eliminator. I am not running an ATV. I already ran an ATV on Badlands in the last video. So we're just going to switch it up. We're going to use the Mohawk Roadhog. The black one with the yellow stripe because let me tell you what this is a clean looking bike excuse me your your insurance rates just went up okay so I'll, I'll be, I'll be too, uh do this this tree frog right here is really trying to cut me off see what I mean look at that aggressive see how aggressive he is Tony, man, the higher we go, the worse that's going to get. Oh, we got this. We got it in the bag already. We're already up here with all the bikes. Oh, there's one. There's, is that a buggy up there? I can't quite get a good enough look at it because I'm worried about this guy trying to murder me. Okay. Okay. Elasia Moosebrugger is up next. I might have mispronounced that. I don't really have time to look at it. The Hannibal Rush is there now. Wait, is Hannibal... Okay, listen, I might be totally wrong. I got no idea. But was Hannibal Rush a guitar player? Look, was that a name? I know Rush was a band. A good band, too. But was Hannibal Rush, like, the guitar for them or something? I missed. I missed twice. I suck. He just deserves to live if I'm that bad. Oh no, for some reason that brings to mind a guitar player. Daddy Foley. They're getting fast. You see what I'm saying? I'm hitting this thing in pretty much as fast as it'll go. Those guys up there are still outrunning me. This 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 is gonna get hard. Come here, buggy. I don't know who you are, but you're slowing down. Rubber banding is getting turned off. Willie Pecker's up next. He must be the guy on the bike. He fell behind a while back. Still an unfortunate name. And we have the Speed Demon. Jackson Stone in that buggy, I believe, right? Yeah, in that buggy. He might pull something crazy and try to cut the middle right here. But it's still faster for me to go around the outside because I'm on a bike, you know. We got it. That was a tight one. Pretty hard. Okay, the fire zone. What's it? An eliminator. Paradise Beach Smolder. Oh, no. No. This is going to be terrible. All right, we're going to... We're going to use the Aztec Komodo. It's pretty much the smallest ATV in the game, and I actually like this one better than others. Not all others but it's pretty decent so i'll use it the reason i like this particular atv is because it's small and compact and the wheels don't stick out real far we talked about that in a previous video where if the wheels stick out super far it's actually easier to catch them on stuff and then you flip way easier oh but this is all atvs okay this is way better i already took one of them out so gave him a backhand something to chew on Hello. Oh. These actually happen all the time, like in real life. They're called hair scramblers or GNCC. Uh oh. I'm alive! Somehow. Okay, now I'm dead. 
Oh man, I'm dead. No way. Yeah, I'm out. I wrecked one time, but I'm out. Dead. Try it again. That's why this is gonna be terrible. You crash one time and you're out. The only person to get out that entire race is this person right here that I smacked. Hello. Mm. Okay, that works. Is that an imposter I see? It is an imposter behind me. That guy is not cool. I gotta go punch him. But I'm not gonna go back there to get him. He can just get eliminated for all I care. Holy smokes, I forgot these things can't turn. Not without boost. That's how you actually drive these things. If you're curious, how you speed run these. You gotta, uh... You pretty much use the boost to make turns. Like that. On tracks like this, at least. On tracks that have long straights, like really long straights that are flat, you can use it there, too, because you'll get a crazy amount of speed. Like right there, say I'm not turning, and then use a little bit of boost, you make it. You don't need to use a whole lot, either. You can just... Just use it, just get yourself going that direction, basically. And I will admit, I never thought about this before, until just now. But when you race a four-wheeler, really get after it. You race it aggressively. The way you make the turns is by giving it more throttle. You actually, it's literally the motor storm mentality. You just, to make turns, you just give it more gas. And that's how you make it, because you can use the back end, you can throw the back end kind of like it's doing here, you know and then you hammer the throttle to uh, make the turn but that's only if you're racing really aggressive which, I mean, we are here so maybe this is more realistic than I might think because of how fast you're going Yeah, but typically that's why you see guys race a little bit oversized bike compared to its weight. is so they can throw it. With it still having a crazy amount of torque. Because you need the torque to make the turns. But now that I think about it like that, that makes more sense. Like, I can see how they came into this design. Huh. I can't believe after all, all the time I've been playing this game, I never thought about that. But Henry T. Pops is our last competitor, and he is out. We got it. Stuck the landing, too. Look at that. Okay. First place. Next up. We have the water zone, beach calmer, feel the need, speed event. I get that reference. We're going to switch up this rally car, which is kind of a shame because I just ran a rally car on this track last time. Show the Patriot V8, the uh, classic skin, Sonic skin. I'm run this one in a while. 35 checkpoints, 15 second margin. All right. Oh, we're going backwards? Yeah? Backwards. Definitely backwards. Okay. This track plays really well backwards. Uh-oh. Oh! Ooh! Ow. <laughs> what? Wait a minute. Hold on. We gotta look at this. Let's just roll over a bit. We gotta go look at this thing. Give me a minute. Ouch. <laughs> Dude, the suspension's just chilling, though. Look, look at it. It's just like, oh. What happened to the rest of the car? Man, somebody really did a good job with that suspension mounting on the bottom down there. On the body mounts. Oof. Alright. I've had my fun with that. <laughs> oh, no. Conveniently restart here. Okay. All right, that's good. I'll take it. Okay, we're gonna make this. Oh! 
What did I hit? Oh! I forgot this dip's a lot bigger than you think. Okay, this is gonna be hard to do. Okay. Okay, cut it in. That's beautiful. Nice and beautiful. It'll slam the brakes this time, so I don't hit that. Oh, this is cool. I like this. Where am I going? Okay. Oh! Got it. Barely. Okay. Ooh, that's really far. Take a moment to hit this jump to you. Okay, nail this. Oof. Give me some boost here, please. Thank you. It's enough. I just gotta keep this thing up to speed around this turn. Man, dude, I'm having to really focus on this one. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty hard. Whew. Nice! Wow. These are gonna get hard. In fact, they're already getting hard. Yeah. That concludes this video. Thank you all so much for watching. My name is Turtle Dude. Peace out.